Hi, I'm Sarah Stone Cipher, owner of Miss Red Outfitters, but also retail mentor to everyone out there who wants to open a retail store or maybe just wants to learn more about how to run a brick and mortar location. Today, we're gonna talk about three great websites to find wholesale merchandise for your store starting at just zero dollars. I know, can you believe it? I'm so excited to share this hack with you. So let's dive in. My first website that we're gonna talk about is Pivot Market. I think this is the best value out of the three that I'm going to talk about because it is ingenious what they have done. It's essentially consignment for wholesale. It's a great story. This website started from a boutique in Miami called Pivot, who during the pandemic decided, listen, there's gotta be a better way to find wholesale inventory. So they talked to some of their makers, they had some local makers in Miami, and said, if we started a website that could connect you with boutiques and you can figure out a consignment agreement instead of wholesale, would you be interested? And overwhelmingly, they all said yes, and it has grown dramatically in the last two years. The website is awesome, it's super easy to use, and you can decide what products you want for your store, but also what size display you want to offer them. So this website is really easy. We're gonna dive in and show you a little bit here. As you can see, I am on my main page. So as a retailer, I create a profile so that the people who are looking to consign with me can see what my shop is all about. You can see over here, I have created what type of spaces I want to offer to the um, makers on this website. You can create all sorts of spaces. I like to use a flex space, which just means it's dependent on the um, consigner. So if it's a candle company, I might want to offer them something small up by the counter. If it's a larger product, then I can offer them a larger display like a uh, bookshelf. Basically, you're getting into an agreement that they are going to send you merchandise and you are going to display it, sell it, and then once it sells, you all are going to have a split profit. So you can see here that I have decided to offer 50% of the sales to the maker. Now, they are also going to pay a $30 premium for space per month. So they're gonna pay me $30 per month just to carry their products in their store. And then if it sells, they get 50%. So. You can see I have put all of my information in here. It's really intuitive. All of this down at the bottom is already pre-done because it pulls from my Google Analytics and Google Maps. It's really, really great. And then once I've created my profile, people from all over the marketplace get to reach out to me. So. You can see on the side here, there's lots of things. These are bookings that I have not yet activated. These are people who saw my profile and said, you know what, I would love to be in this store. Have a bunch just from the past couple of days. So you can see, I can click into here and see what they carry. This is a shoe line. Up, oh, shoes and bags. You can kind of see their branding, go to their Instagram. It tells you what their price range is. And then if I wanted to partner with them, I would click approve and it would take me to a packing list, uh, then show me when it ships out to me and then a reception page once I receive the items. And then what is really cool and it's great for all ends, once I would receive this product into my store, I would take a picture of the display so the maker can see it's in my store, it's being sold, and then this completely integrates with Shopify, you guys. It is awesome. Once you hit the um, reception, it will auto go to your Shopify, put all of the products, prices, and everything in there. It is so easy. Now, side note, you do not get to pick the products. You get to pick the brand, and then the brand is going to send you the products. So you, you know, don't have as much leeway as you would if you went to market and you're 
pre-picking each individual product, but honestly, if you are getting started and you are trying to create an entire store, it's a lot of merchandise to think about. This is a great hack. And then you can figure out what works and wasn't, doesn't work inside your store. You can talk directly to the maker and say, hey, it's been a month and this, you know, the bags are working, but the shoes aren't working. Can I send back the shoes and get more bags? And because it's an actual person, it's an actual maker, you can do that. It's a really, really great platform. The uh, store in Miami called Pivot, I'm actually going there this weekend to um, hang out with them and see their store, is amazing. And the entire store is all done just from makers and consignment on this site. So it's totally possible to open up your store using zero dollars on merchandise. This has never before happened in our industry. It is so, so amazing. Next, the uh, website that I think is the most convenient is Fashion Go. If you've never ha heard of Fashion Go, it also revolutionized the way we look at getting inventory for retail stores when it came on the scene a couple of years ago, um, probably 10 years ago now. Uh, it's a great way for fast fashion brands to connect with retailers. Why I love this site so much is because it truly makes it so easy to get merchandise. You, I can buy something on a Monday. Let's say we blow through belts on the weekend and I come in Monday morning, I'm like, I really need some belts. I can go on here, buy belts for very low minimum. Sometimes there's no minimum, but I mean, I think at the most, some of these places have a hundred dollar minimum to buy. I can buy a bunch of belts on Friday, they will show up at my door. So it is so convenient to really fill in areas of your store. One thing to really remember, you will um, see a lot of brands on the site. I mean, I'm talking probably hundreds of thousands of new, new arrivals every single week. And if you've gone to market and seen a lot of the brands on the immediate floors, then you will know a lot of these brands are on here. They're on the website. So, but don't be confused. The products that are on this site are typically the products that did not sell at market. So to get the best merchandise out there for clothing and accessories in the immediate departments, you gotta go to market. But this is a great way to fill things in and to not have to meet the crazy minimums of some of the larger brands that are out there. So as you can see, this is super easy to utilize. They have an amazing app on your phone too. Um, you can see new arrivals. I can't tell you how many times I've been out at the grocery store and I see a cute dress on a girl and I pull out my app and I'm looking up pink floral maxi dress on my Fashion Go app to try and find something that looks like it. Tons and tons of vendors. This is great too, because they really have a lot of pictures that you can use for your own websites as well. As you can see, no minimum, $100 minimum, no minimum. So if you are just getting started, this is a really, really great way to um, get your store filled with merchandise at a low cost. This is one of my favorite aspects of this. So let's say one of your favorite bloggers posts a picture of themselves in the most beautiful blue maxi dress. You can screenshot it, upload that picture to Fashion Go, and it will bring up anything that looks even remotely like that dress. It's The technology is real, real crazy, you guys. And I highly recommend using it um, all the aspects. They also offer consolidated shipping because a lot of these um, people on this website are all out of the LA fashion district. So there's a lot of great ways to utilize this site. It's super easy. You can see I have tons of stuff in carts here. You can um, go to my account, order history. It keeps all of your orders all in one place. You can see it's so great and easy to use and um, one-stop shop for all things. Now, the best quality site and the thing that I believe has transformed my store into being a store that really connects with my customers is gonna be FAIR. So FAIR is uh, FAIR.com and it, is a great wholesale website for makers. So if you want to carry handmade merchandise in your store, 
I'm telling you, this is the place to go. They also have an amazing app on their phone. I have done so many re easy reorders on my phone, um, standing in line at a coffee shop. This is a great website if you are looking to bring in unique things to your store, whether it is clothing, it can be jewelry, it can be handbags, every place on here as well. This is May Martin. We sell so much May Martin in our store. It's right here next to me because we sell so much uh, at checkout. Great little dainty line. As you can see, you can add quick cases to your cart so you don't even have to go into the actual product, which is really great. These are all my previous orders, so you can just reorder so, so quickly. Um, you can see all about the brand. This is another piece of this that I love so much. You can read all about their brand story. We actually take this brand story and put it on the tables with the products so that our customers can understand that there's a someone behind the product that they're purchasing just really great and easy way to uh, elevate what you have in your store. And let me tell you, the misconception of a lot of these sites is that it's really expensive. It is not. It is not at all. I mean, these gold necklaces are 20 bucks. I mean, are you kidding me? This is such a good, um, and it's, you know, gold filled, lasts in the water, all that. It's great quality for what you are getting and it'll connect with your customers in real meaningful ways. All right, y'all, I hope you learned so much today. These are the three sites that we probably use the most in my store. So I really hope this was a great merchandising hack for you as well. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Have you ever dreamed of opening your own clothing store? Would you love to be a larger part of your local community? Or maybe you already have an online shop, but want to take the leap into a physical location. Well, join me as I pull back the curtain on all things brick and mortar. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on how to grow and thrive in your own retail storefront.